Oh, yeah, I just saw him. Big black drum, bro. Uh, Nora, Nora. You want to film him? The is that that's a double drop, ain't it? What? 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 Aren't y'all glad we went to church today? <laughs> Here, give it over here, give it over here, because I'm dry. Damn, I'm gorgeous, bro. I'm going to take a picture. You had it on selfie mode, so I took a picture. <laughs> I need a phone number to text the video to. That was awesome. Yeah. Good job, bro. That's oh, mad. Right? Yeah, throw it on this side. It'll be easier and safer. Did you swim off? No. Gone? Alright. No, gotta fight. Gotta fight. I think I got a, got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a call up the whole team. Again, Captain Albert Zertuche from Team Hardline. Seems like he's got a fish. All right. Double drops paid off. Paid off. Alright, on three, one, two, three. Good. Good. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Officer Kucha, and I'm back at the shop after a huge day of fishing out at the Port of Ranzas Jetties. Mind you, we went two days back to back, and it was catch after catch after catch after catch on this last day. Either way, I'm torture testing there's Cortland braid because like I said if I'm gonna sell it I need to know what it's capable of doing in the long haul so even though I couldn't work all the rods at the same time I was able to keep casting keep casting and keep casting certain rods just because those are the ones I end up picking up for the day and so or picking out from the group now within that I did get broke off at the uh, at the dike when I was over there we ended up catching the line back so I saved it, 
And then we got broke off at the Port A jetties. So then we caught it back. So I saved it. And break offs is going to happen with every single line on the market, but it's what happens afterwards that is the big determining factor for me, too. One is you don't ever catch it back, and so you lose line. And since we're dealing with hollow core, we have to replace it. So I'm maintaining my spool. That's where I save money. But here's a big one. I caught it back, still clean, still great line. So what do I do? Reattach it to my spool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'm gonna show you the, the rods that I've been using. And like I said, this is already five trips, and actually I went fishing again last night, so that's six trips. And this is where we're at. I mean, I've only had, like I said, I've lost these two, caught them back, so I haven't lost any line yet. Love it. Like I said, so let me do that real quick, and I'll show you what's going on. So real quick, there are the rods that I've been using right there, you know? There's a six and the other one right there. So, oh yeah, it is only seven rods because the other three were the HXW Raptors that I was using at the drum tournament. Those are the ones we kayaked out, which had other type, other types of braid because still at the same time, I've got to have that one variable of the lines we're already using. But I'm going to give you all a quick view of what it looks like before I go fix it. So this is one of the ones that has lost line, okay? But that one's still freshly brand new like that uh, these are still wrapped up from using them last night I went to uh, Clem's Marina and yes yeah, sir this one looks like it's lost a little bit of line this is the 80 pound hasn't lost anything and here's this one this one hasn't lost anything and the other one over there let me see if I can reach that there you go still still rocking and rolling with the Cortland now let me go ahead and get I know that one's missing quite a bit and I actually I think it's one from one this one will be the one that's missing the most line and that one's the top shot for the other one so yes sir let me go ahead and knock that out get it back on there and see what it looks like all right guys so I, want, I was gonna skip over it but I was like no you know what I want them to see what is actually gonna happen with everything start to finish because that's what I like to do I like to share the knowledge so you know exactly what you're gonna go through when it does happen and you add more lines and stuff like that so for me when I got cut off out there I had to keep using the line because I didn't want to just stop right there now if it would have broke off two or three times actually my, my number is three if I break off three times on one rod it's done for the day like that trip it's done so with this one I tied a knot on there and I could probably get it out, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with losing, look, and you know, actually that's why I was doing the video. So y'all can see what the waste is and what I'm losing. So, let me see. So this one's missing just a little bit. Let me go and get this line off. And I'm going to level that off and get it back on. This is going to be a pain. I'm going to have to do it really slow. Or, let's see. Alright guys, so <clears throat> upon further investigation, I can see a bad fray right here. Okay. So there's one right here. You can see that. And the next line over has got something right there right here yeah that's a real bad one like that that's a long area and then there's some right here right here right here see this one when we pulled it out out of the line or when we caught it back it came through the rocks right there at the jetties and with the waves it was pushing in i was pulling trying to pull it in as fast as i could but it, yeah that didn't work out as planned 
So looking at how many times I'm gonna have to splice, I'm, I think I'm gonna just go and say, you know what, I'm not gonna add this in, you know, because that's a lot of splicing in a short area. This is probably only 20, 30 yards. So I think I'm just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna leave it alone because it's still got a nice good top shot right there. It's almost to where I wanna be for casting. Like I said, it's probably one whole wrap across and maybe half, so yeah, no. I think I'm gonna be good. So I don't want, like I said, I don't want to put a crazy amount of splices, but also too, this is the whole point of the braid is we don't have to keep doing that. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna call it on that one. Now, this one, I'm gonna inspect it too. And obviously that was the one where it, it burned off. Y'all saw the original video where he did that. Well, this is the opposite end of that. And that only, that looks to be like the only place that's messed up. But that one goes on this other rail. So I'm gonna pull this one off now that I got it ready for casting. And we're gonna keep rocking. Oh, you know what? Let me do my. <clears throat> Dried up salt right there. That's what it was. I was wondering. All right. So, get that. Okay, right here, I can feel some abrasion. Real light. Look right there. You can see it now that I've kind of dirtied it up. So, I'm going to take that section out. And just going to splice this one in. Ooh, that's the end that already has my loop. So. Got to the other end, like I said, it was a nasty burn, but everything else looks fine. All right guys, so one thing I forgot to take into account is that because I hand wrapped this bottle with the line, I put a lot of twist in it. So what I'm gonna have to do before I continue is get all that twist out. So I'm gonna have to walk it all the way out, untwisting it because like I said, that's gonna give the wrong image of the line showing that it got gathered twist from fishing when it did not happen while fishing, it happened when I was rewrapping it. So let me knock that out real quick.
go. Got all the line back on there. So again, this is why we use hollow core braids. Because we're able to save money in the long run. So, here we go. So I got both my reels back up to speed. And this is all I lost. Right there, plus the other one. But, yeah, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Especially since I've got seven reels that I'm fishing with. Five of them have the Cortland 100 pound and the other two have the 80 pound. 